Although an unknown name now, Anthony Brown has what it takes to become one of the biggest names in all college football. So let's see how he got here. Brown goes up top, has his man open. Flowers for the score. Straight out of Aberdeen Township, New Jersey, Anthony worked his way up to become a starting quarterback as a junior. At 6'2", 200 pounds, Anthony was no joke and was able to use not only his unique size, but arm talent to pass for nearly 2,200 passing yards and 25 touchdowns, along with over 800 yards and 8 touchdowns on the ground. Going into his senior year, Anthony was looking to take his production to the next level to get some attention from college scouts. Nearly 2,300 yards passing, 33 passing touchdowns, and over 600 rushing yards along with 9 touchdowns gained him some of the attention that he was looking for. Anthony was not only first team All-State, but the short conference player of the year and a 3 star out of high school. Throughout his two seasons starting with the team, Anthony passed for nearly 4,500 yards and 38 touchdowns while leading the Lancers to a 21-2 record. Not too bad of a stat line, and in fact good enough to make Anthony Brown a semi-finalist at the Lead 11 camp. After killing it on the field and leading his team to legitimate success, Anthony gained interest from schools like Northwestern, Syracuse, Virginia Tech, and Wake Forest, but decided to choose Boston College in hopes of flipping an organization. Anthony left for Boston College a semester early to prepare for his freshman year, and although he redshirted, it allowed him to be ready for what would come next. As technically still a freshman the following year, Anthony became the second freshman in school history to start the season opener. In the game against NIU, Anthony did pretty well with nearly 200 yards, two touchdowns, and only one pick as a team barely won 23-20. Following such a great start, you would figure that Anthony would continue his success, but the three following games were all underwhelming. Against Wake Forest, Anthony threw three picks, and the team lost by 30 points, and instead of bouncing back after that, he responded with two 20-point losses to both Notre Dame and then Clemson. After the loss to Clemson, Anthony was able to put up some okay numbers against Central Michigan, Virginia Tech, and Louisville, but somehow against Virginia was on a complete another level, with nearly 300 yards and three touchdowns in by far his best game of the season. Although you think Anthony would carry this level of play throughout the end of the year, the following game and a half were underwhelming, and to put the cherry on top, he had a season-ending knee injury after only 10 games. Even though his year ended sooner than Anthony would have liked to, he was at least still able to pass for over 1,300 yards and 11 touchdowns. With one season under his belt, Anthony went into his sophomore year with high expectations and started off on a high note against UMass. Nearly 300 yards and 4 touchdowns is not too shabby of a stat line to start off the year and he was able to carry that spirit throughout the next two games with a perfect completion percentage versus Holy Cross and once again 300 against Wake Forest. After a pretty phenomenal start to the season, you would think that Anthony wouldn't have a problem against Purdue, but his four interceptions said otherwise. Although a bit of a bump in the road, Anthony was able to put together a solid string of games as he was able to win four of the next five, until Clemson, FSU, and Syracuse all handed good old Anthony L's to finish off an otherwise solid year. Even with a rough few games to end off the season, Anthony was still able to put up over 2100 passing yards and 20 touchdowns, which is a much better stat line than his freshman year. After improving his game as a sophomore, Anthony was looking to take it to the next level the following year, and was looking good early on. Winning 3 out of the first 4 games with 6 touchdowns and around 800 yards was nice to see. But it didn't last long as he lost the following game against Wake Forest with two picks and then got injured versus Louisville. Once again, Anthony suffered a season-ending knee injury, but this time it was only six games into the year and smack dab in the middle of one of the best games of his career. Although a much shorter year than his sophomore season, Anthony was still able to put up over 1,200 yards and nine touchdowns to prove that he had a bit of the sauce. Now you would think that Anthony would be looking to finish off his time with the team on a high note the following year. But after the team fired head coach Steve Adazzo, plans changed. Since one of the major reasons that Anthony played for BC was Steve, now that he was gone, Anthony decided to jump ship. And schools like Georgia, Mississippi State, Colorado, and Oregon all showed interest. Although a pretty solid group of suitors, Anthony saw the best opportunity in Eugene and became a duck. Anthony By the way, if you guys could subscribe and like, that'd be awesome. But anyways, back to the video. 
Anthony started off his time with the Ducks as a backup to Tyler's show, and so he wasn't able to prove himself until the Pac-12 championship game. Against USC, Anthony was used in mostly goal line situations, but took full advantage of it with two touchdowns on only four passes for 17 yards, as the team was able to win 31-24. Fast forward a bit, and after Tyler underperformed against Iowa State in the Fiesta Bowl, Anthony stepped in during the second half and did his thing with nearly 150 yards and two rushing touchdowns. But it was still not enough as the team got smacked 34-17. Although this would typically be the end of the line for a senior like Anthony, he was able to take advantage of the extra year of eligibility from playing in 2020, and is now looking to make the most of it this year. Now that he had a full training camp, Anthony was able to prove just how much he could bring to the table. And although he originally was the backup to good old Tyler's show, he won the quarterback battle this time and forced Ty to join Texas Tech. Anyways, Anthony was given one last shot to prove himself, and so far, he's looked very good. Through three games, he has nearly 600 yards and four touchdowns through the air, along with over 100 rushing yards and two touchdowns on the ground. Not too shabby of a stat line, but it's made even better when you consider that in only his second game of the season, he was able to beat number three ranked Ohio State. And although a tough matchup, he was still able to pass for over 200 yards and two touchdowns. As a fifth year player, Anthony brings a unique level of experience that seems to be paying off big time and could be the key to him getting on the NFL's radar. Going nearly undefeated and winning some decent bowl game is one thing, but taking down a top five school in the country is something huge for not only Anthony, but Oregon as a whole, and makes him look really good. If you look at him as a scout, he can not only pass the ball, but is good on the ground and has proven himself against some of the best competition in college football. If he is able to maintain this level of production throughout the year, then he could even be in Heisman contention if Oregon becomes one of the top dogs. Although seemingly very far-fetched, Oregon only plays one other ranked team the rest of the regular season in the number 24 ranked UCLA Bruins. So I don't think it'll be too tough, but I guess you never know. If the team is already number three and they win out, let's just say Anthony might get a bit more well-known in the football world. Anyways, what do you guys think of the Super Duck and Eugene? And do you think he has what it takes to lead Oregon to the promised land? Because I think he has what it takes to cause some damage. Anthony Brown dealt with injury after injury, along with having to leave the Eagles for Eugene. But even through all this, he has still been successful. And so I think he has what it takes to become something special. The option, Brown keeps, first down, turns it upfield, Anthony Brown cuts it back, touchdown Oregon! Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, it would be awesome if you guys could subscribe, like, and comment down below what stuff you want next. But anyway, see you all soon, and peace out.